Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and its community here on COD Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today where there is a lot to talk about, including new content added to Black Ops 6 Zombies, an update in the quest to find the still unsolved Easter egg on Liberty Falls, a big warning if you decide to pick up what I believe is the most popular weapon in zombies right now, and finally we'll end things off with probably my absolute favorite segment of zombies. Zombies versus vehicles we've seen in Black Ops 6 so far. There is a lot to cover today, I can't wait to share it with you, so let's kick things right off with our first story of the day. The first major event to go live in Black Ops 6, the hit list has finally reached the amount of community eliminations needed to finally unlock the hand cannon score streak, which means it is now available to use in the zombies mode as well. Where thanks to Napster over on Reddit, we have the first opinions in of whether this is absolute trash or or you should craft it in your own game, and it seems like the answer is kind of in between. Where the pros of using the hand cannon in zombies is that it'll one hit take down a mangler indefinitely at any round if you hit their arm cannon. If you don't, if you just try to go for headshots, you'll just be wasting ammo, it'll do not that much damage. It is fairly cheap to craft at 1250 salvage, so half the cost of a chopper gunner, but honestly the drawbacks are pretty significant here. The critical multiplier is bad on this weapon, you're not going to be doing a lot of crit damage. A 2 or 3 shot to destroy one head on an abomination, which honestly is pretty awful for a score streak. You get only 10 rounds to fire in the magazine before it is totally out, and you gotta buy a new one if you want to continue to use it. And so honestly, it seems like the only reason to really use the hand cannon in the zombies mode is if you're super accurate and want a way to quickly take down the manglers. So, so maybe past round 30 where manglers start spawning in in the trillions, keeping the hand cannon on you might be an easy way, especially near the end of the round where there seems to always be like 7 or 8 spawned in at once to take them out quickly, not having to use any of your primary weapons ammo. With how weak this is in the zombies mode right now, I wouldn't be surprised if Treyarch did a balance pass on it and hopefully increased the base damage to make it a one-shot takedown to any zombie finally live up to its namesake, the hand cannon. Next up, with a hunt to discover the still unsolved easter egg on Liberty Falls, which likely rewards you with a free pack-a-punched weapon from the mystery box still ongoing, the zombie Zombies community over on Reddit seem to have discovered a potential new breakthrough in the hunt. Where with over 2,000 upvotes, Zombies player Sinkers pointed out that in Liberty Falls, has anyone noticed that the footprints, bullets, and body on the roof of the bank is able to be seen with a thermal scope? Where we can see from his video that yeah, definitely all of those things are true, with players hyper-focusing on the footprints that appear on the ground with a thermal scope, possibly thinking it might be related to an easter egg, but I have seen a lot of zombies players also thinking this, but we do know that in this game, the thermal scope tracks your own footprints, meaning if you're running around in a specific location and use your thermal scope, you will be looking at your own footprints lighting up in the thermals. But like these zombies players are saying, while the footprints in this video definitely aren't connected to any kind of easter egg on this map, using the thermal scope to discover previously unseen details on certain areas of the map is definitely a tactic that Treyarch can use to hide easter eggs. So if you're hopping in game with a thermal scope on one of your weapons for whatever reason, Consider taking some time to look around the map with it, trying to discover if any heat signatures light up your interests that you know aren't created by your own player and your actions. Next up, if you're hopping into Liberty Falls, you got Rampage Inducer on, or you're in a high round with a bunch of zombies chasing you, it seems like it's now a good idea to stay away from the GS-45 wall buys that become the explosive pistols Mustang in Sally when you pack a punch it within the spawn room of the map as demonstrated by Rare dub gamer, him and a bunch of other zombies players are reporting that if you pick up your GS-45 wall buy, and you have the akimbo attachment on, it can pretty severely lag your game to the point where zombies will just insta-down you as the servers struggle to catch up. Players seem to be reporting a similar issue on any weapons that use akimbo attachments, so basically any of the pistols. If you have an akimbo attachment on it, you grab it out of the mystery box, you get it from a wall buy, for some reason the game really doesn't like that right now, so it's probably best to grab it in between rounds or if you don't have any zombies chasing. 
chasing you. Next up, we're currently in the middle of our second double XP weekend here in Black Ops 6, a bit of a reward from Treyarch after they announced that Black Ops 6 broke a bunch of player records. But since the event has gone live, a lot of COD players, it seems like mostly on the multiplayer side, I've heard some Zombies players report this too, that the double XP in their matches is broken and is only rewarding around a 1.3 times increase in XP instead of the double XP in which the event is advertising. It wouldn't be the first time we saw XP rates get broken in this game, it happened a few weeks after launch, but with this becoming an issue that is affecting more and more players, if you do play a Black Ops 6 Zombies match during the double XP weekend, definitely let me know if it feels like you're earning double XP, or if in fact you are earning what the multiplayer community is talking about around only 1.3 times the XP. Next up, I saw this and I don't know how to explain it, or what exactly is going on in game for this to happen. Where Jetpack over on Reddit said that getting a Gobblegum awarded while hacking displays it on the hacker apparently. And taking a look at the clip where it happened where he is completing the hacking step of the main easter egg over on Terminus, and when the round changes and he begins his hacking, the Gobblegum reward animation doesn't play on his screen, but the screen of the hacker item itself. It's just very bizarre looking, and I guess what's happening here is probably what Iceman in the comments is talking about, where both items, the Gobblegum animation and the screen from the hacking device use the same source, so getting a Gobblegum overrides the hacking video that normally displays when you're defusing, and I guess that makes sense to me. Let me know if this has happened to you in your own game. Next up, it is finally time. We haven't done one in quite a few weeks now, and honestly, it feels like it's been way, way too long. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for Zombies vs. Vehicles. And oh boy, do we have a treat for you today, where Zombies player Parlas over on Reddit has seemingly discovered a new kind of vehicle streak we can use in Black Ops 6 Zombies, where if you get a buddy to place a sentry gun just just right on top of an Arc XD, it won't place it on the ground, but instead place it on top of the vehicle itself, letting the Arc XD drive around the zombies map with the sentry gun attached to it, still firing at zombies as you move. This thing is absolutely insane looking, and I guess as long as you don't let any zombies get near you, you have the sentry gun firing forward, the Arc XD blast covering behind you, you can turn it into a little technical driving around the zombies map and looking oh so cool while you do it. I discovered what I'm doing in my next zombies game. Hopefully you have too because that wraps up the news today. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, consider hitting that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're officially one week away from the first DLC map releasing for Black Ops 6 Zombies and I can't wait to cover it all with you when it drops, but until that time comes, I want to thank you again for watching and I'll see you with another Zombies news video tomorrow. Peace!